Well, as we enter this, the second day of Soltex, after a very successful first day, I'm joined by Richard Fry, the marketing director of Rigby Taylor, and we're standing in front of a very exciting uh, new piece of machinery, a new kit, and uh, it's safe to say it is exciting, and you'll tell me why, Richard. Well, it sets the tone for the new technology era for the uh, groundsmanship industry, Scott. Uh, it is uh, the world's first. There isn't another uh, fully autonomous robotic line marker at all throughout the whole of the world. Uh, Rigby Taylor are the first company to uh, introduce it, uh, and Britain is the first country to which it's being introduced on a commercial basis for uh, marking uh, a whole range of sports pitches, totally automatically. All the uh, operator has to do is to line it up on a corner of a pitch press a button and it will mark the whole pitch without stopping, including the penalty spot. <laughs> now is this a piece of equipment that will be aimed initially at the high-end clubs, the Premier League clubs, or you have ambitions for it to spread throughout the, the no, grassroots of the industry? I, I think grassroots perhaps might be stretching it a little bit because it is not a cheap piece of, uh, a piece of kit, but it's going to be aimed very, very much at those clubs that have got multiple pitches. Uh, of where, such as training grounds, uh, academies, local authority contractors, as well as large public schools, private schools, and so on. And it's not just you that's telling us it's an exciting piece of equipment. Um, it's won an award, hasn't it? It has, yes. And uh, this is it. Uh, this is the uh, the IOG uh, inaugural uh, innovation award for Soltex, and uh, Rigby Taylor is the the first winner of this award for this particular piece of innovative uh, machine. Well, congratulations, you must be very proud and it, it augurs well for the future of the intelligent one. Well, it, absolutely, and it's been a, a, at least two years in commercial development. Uh, a lot of people within Rigby Taylor have been involved in bringing it to this particular situation uh, and we're looking forward to it being used quite widely uh, in the UK uh, from 2018 onwards. Now, as we enter the, uh, the second day of the show, we're a little bit croaky after the first day. just want to ask you, how did, how did yesterday go for Rigby Taylor? Uh, yesterday was absolutely cracking, Scott. Uh, I hear that the, uh, the figures are over 5,000, which is a record for the first day since it's been at the NEC. From 10 o'clock through till about 3 o'clock, the stand here was absolutely buzzing. We have, we have a coffee um, uh, stand as well, which obviously attracts a lot of people. Yeah. But... Uh, all the, um, all the representatives on the stand were busy throughout the whole day, so excellent. And we're looking forward to that being continued uh, today. Well, Richard, I won't hold you back. I just want to thank you for joining me on a Turf Matters video and I uh, hope you have a successful rest of the show. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much.